You guys are tuned in to the Matmos Outdoor Show. This weekend, two years ago, we found the mother load of all mushrooms. And I'm back with the big man. He's got his coke, and we're gonna have a good time, so stay tuned. Just found one here, guys. Brian's behind me. Um, we've been searching for a while. Oh, there's some chicken in the woods, too. We can harvest Salt that. Woods. Salt for so, yeah, chicken in the woods. They're no good. I don't want them. You don't want them? Okay, well, I found a head of the woods. I'm surprised there's chicken in the woods that's still ripe out here. Yeah, really. That's late. I mean, yeah, late. But here's the first chicken of the woods. Are you getting them? Right here, prime example of a head of the woods mushroom. The most delicious mushroom I have ever personally ate. And now that you have one, now that we have one on camera, I'm gonna prepare this mushroom for you guys in the woods today, harvest and cook style. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients and you guys are gonna learn how to cook these delicious mushrooms the proper way. And yeah, this one, it's a smaller one, but sometimes you wanna pick them earlier than later, especially now, cause we've been having a kind of a dry year. So I'm gonna get up underneath this and yes, I should have a knife, but I'm gonna bust off the bottom here. As you can see, the bottom is still sitting here. Anyways, here's the first mushroom of the 2018 Hen of the Woods season, and boy, am I stoked to eat this guy. Oh, we each found one. I just found it. It's not very big. they pretty tough here for in the deep, this is a pretty thick woods, pretty tough picking in here. Yeah, this one seems a little, a little bit ripe. A little ripe. Yeah, okay, you got the there. root hanging off. There's some in the ground. Yep, we saw it. Nice find, buddy. Yeah, it's not as nice as yours. Yours is nice and white. This one's getting orange. We're gonna eat that one. Yeah. We got ones we're finding that are already over with. A lot. I found one. You found three. I found about five. Yeah. I found one last week. So gosh, you can come out here every week and pick through here. Start in August. Yeah, I don't know. It's been earlier. a cold. It's been not a warm August. It was kind of a cooler August. Yeah. You know, lights nights have been getting down to the 40s. Honest to God. Yeah. So it's probably triggering them to grow, and we're not late compared to previous years, but they're a tricky one. Well, there's some nice trees over here. I'm gonna go look around. All right. We got two pretty small. Nothing, nothing to brag about. This one's pretty ripe. It's loose. This one's tight yet. But that's it. You tough wanna, year. Yeah, it's been a tough season. I mean, these are prime examples of perfectly ripe mushrooms. This one here, you can see, is starting to deteriorate. If we don't, <clears throat> if we don't decide to eat this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ch chop off the leaves and go plant our own mushrooms, and hopefully next year we'll have a supply on our oak trees back on our property. So we'll get back, we're gonna go back, clean them up, and uh, cook them out in the woods for you guys and show you how to prepare the hen of the woods mushroom. And you guys are gonna complain because we're supposed to have a laundry bag or something, something different than a plastic bag to release the spores, but we're gatherers and collectors of the forest. That doesn't mean that we have a ton of money to go and buy a laundry <laughs> sack, you know? <laughs> a little hungry, we thought we'd fry a few mushrooms up and see all how, how they taste. All right, so right here, I have my little camp stove. See if it's even cooking. The oil looks like it's getting warm. Oh yeah, she's on. I feel like it. Get out. The mushrooms of the day, I already separated them. We kind of planned this stop for a little bit, so I separated them out, rinsed them off with a bottle of water right here. Throwing in the hen of the woods. Did it fall off there? Oh no. I ain't worried about it. Load it up. Don't don't be nervous about overfilling because they shrink, that's for sure. We're going to put them on top of here. And what we're cooking them in is olive oil. Extra virgin because that's how we like it. And then 
Right here we have this all-purpose Greek seasoning. That is the best stuff to put on these mushrooms. Oh my God, it brings back so many memories. It's unreal. I really should have brought a cover for this, huh, Brian? Yeah, steam them a little bit. It'll still cook. I could turn this thing up a little bit here. Ooh, they're cooking good. Look at that deliciousness. Can you smell it from here? Because I'm pretty sure I can. As you can see, they're starting to cook down now. And they actually shrink a ton. All the moisture that was in the mushrooms to begin with because I didn't put that much olive oil in there. And as you can see, they're pretty wet. They're going to be delicious. Don't mind the airplane noise. We're not in the middle of nowhere. Jeez. Anyways, they're done, guys. And boy, do they look juicy. Can't complain about that. You know what they say. If it looks real, you'll see it. If it tastes good, you'll taste it. They look good. Huh? Look nice and tender and rubbery. They look good. Try one. We'll try this one here. Yeah. Oh, mm, that's good. Are they good? Mm hmm. Are they worth hunting? Yep. They worth the three hours of finding two that Only we found? Two. Yeah, we'll get out of their woods. What? What? Anything you want to tell the fans out there watching this? Last year, we, or two years ago, we pulled out grocery bags full of them this year we only got two and we found seven that were over but just keep hunting them that's all you can do mm. man that was good. before you eat them all i better i better try some of them nice wow. tender that is good mm. wow you know there's something about finding your own food you know hunting and gathering go out shoot a big buck it's satisfying go out find these mushrooms it's satisfying especially when you can't buy the stuff in a store you know it seems like up here in the midwest everybody has venison but it takes a special few to go out and be able to hunt and gather and find your own mushrooms you know mm -hmm. and to be able to feel comfortable knowing what to look for and feeling safe and confident in what you forage is definitely the key to success because if you don't know what you're looking for, please guys, don't go out unless you have an expert. I got Brian here. Huh. He's pretty damn close, but uh, we know a guy named Bob Sauer and that guy can honestly, he'll, he'll know what's good and bad. I don't want to be talking with my mouth full on here, but I am so happy that you guys got to come along on our journey today. And, uh, Please hit that subscribe button, and if you made it this far, hit the like button too, because if you want to see more hunting, fishing, mushroom hunting videos, shed hunting videos, my channel is for you. And I'm sure I'm going to have quite a few ice fishing videos this winter. Get into some duck hunting here in a couple weeks. Try to get a deer on camera this year, and uh, I just really want to grow my channel compared to what it has been in the last year. It kind of just, it's been slacking, but... New camera, new tripod, new equipment, getting the old guys back together, and that's what makes it fun. And it's creating memories, and that's all I ask is just, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And thanks for coming along.